Okay. After a very long uh, hi uh, hiatus hernia, hiatus hernia, after a very long hiatus, <clears throat> we're back. I think it's been over a month? Three weeks. Really? Three weeks. It's only been three weeks since we did our last progressive discussions? Yes. Well, I this guess is the fourth week. Uh, uh, you already know everything about us because there's an intro right before the show. So why why be redundant and waste my energy? But I'm I'm glad to be back, and so is my co-host and mentor for a very long time, uh, the Reverend Doctor William J. Eisenman. Um, Right now, to celebrate our return, I am drinking, of course, Yingling, Yingling, America's oldest brewery since 1829. That's right, 1829. Yingling Porter. It's like stout. It's like a Guinness stout, but uh, I think they use cocoa uh, uh, in, in the difference between a pout. A pout. A stout and a porter. I think there's cocoa involved. I could be wrong in this case, but it's black. It's a, like a domestic. It's like a domesticated Guinness stout for you Irish Americans. You got it. Beautiful red label with the American balls. I mean, bald eagle. Bald eagle. There you go. Yinling Brewery. You want to take a look at something here? Y Yinling. You better freaking remember me promoting you. You best. What the hell is that? It's like a root beer float. Right. No, I think you better let it defrost a little. Defrost? No, what I did was, oh my God! Because I was bringing the Yinling yes. porters here, I put them in the freezer because I like, I like my my beer icy oh. cold, icy cold. And yes, I have it in a cooler. But I can't, I can't deal with room temperature beer. Oh, oh mine is icy. Well, being that we're having, um, I guess, an unseasonable, uh, what is it, 82 degrees Fahrenheit today? Both the 85. 85, just just for today. Just for today. And then tomorrow, uh, uh, Domingo, Sunday. 61. 61, a high of 61. 20-some 20, 20 uh, points lower. Right, but, but tonight we'll be in the 50s. Yeah. Here in northeastern New Jersey, so... Um, you know, it's uh, unseasonably warm, just for one day. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, what's, what is new, gee, let me think. Let me think, uh, the Donald Trump administration and the Republican Congress Ooh. want to, want to either, uh, um, kill off the poor of starvation, starvation, uh, they were they uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Muppet Face Paul Ryan was blabbering on TV about uh, about the Republican uh, health insurance plan, the replacement for the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. I he didn't really get to the gist of the matter, which is probably that if you're uh, you're not uh, upper middle class or wealthy, you're you're you you might as well just kill yourself. You're not going to have any coverage. They're going to they're going to stop coverage of pre-existing conditions. Wasn't that the first thing President Obama installed? Exactly, one of three. That was one of the big screw jobs that American health insurance companies were perpetrating on we the people is um, no pre-existing illnesses, which mean if you it, which means if you're already sick. Drop Get dead out of here. Die. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, you moocher. Get out of here, you moocher. Oh, I forgot. We need seven because uh, Beelzebub is so active in trying to fuck with us all the time. We need seven lucky bells. There you go. Seven lucky bells. And I know it, there was a pile of dust on this baby, but. Everything we discuss politically is part of our series, Crapitalism in a Conch Shell. There's the conch. There's the conch. Soaking man. at. Hold on. 
soak in that conch energy. Yeah. Yeah, I know King Neptune. It's been a long time. Yeah, th three weeks. It feels like three years. I know. I know. Yeah, well, the forces of evil were elected in 2016 by all the, uh, all those, uh, redneck, uh, inbred, uh, imbecilic evangelicals. That's right. That's, I know, they don't have a pot to piss in and they vote for people that only work for the rich. <laughs> and, oh, I, I'll remember to mention it. Okay, thank you. That was King Neptune. Um, uh, in Virginia, uh, our revolution, the, at the, right, the Bernie Sanders, Jeff Weaver organization, our revolution is live in Virginia, promoting progressive... Got their books. Oh, wow, I'm staring at it right now. You know what? You know what? They deserve a plug. A they, plug. Hey, anybody complains that I'm getting up and down today, go fuck yourself. I'm serious. And there he is. They're, they're live today in the state of Virginia promoting progressive candidates. Bernie Sanders, a future to believe in. BernieSanders.com, our revolution. Okay. okay. You see that? Yeah. See that book, man? I hope you can see it. Yeah. See it? Yeah. And there's Bernie in front of his uh, his legions that that usually, well, at least in 2016, showed up at his rallies. Yeah. There he is, the Bernie Bird himself. Got it. Got it. We need that new third non-establishment donor-free progressive party because it doesn't look. Like the DNC is seeing the Holy Spirit. Ooh. <laughs> who? Who's the, the that guy? Uh, what's his name? Um, he has a Spanish last name. The, who, the guy who's uh, the, Perez. Perez. He's heading the DNC now, right? He was. He. I was watching a video with him and Bernie Sanders, and uh, uh -huh. he sounded pretty progressive to me, man. I don't know how serious he is. Yeah, well. But Perez sounded very progressive in what he was saying. Theoretically, they want to change uh, yeah. the Democratic Party. They want to. Uh, uh, they want to reform it. They want to give it a, a a massive blood detoxification, followed by a uh, a blood transfusion or a colonoscopy. Hey, I like that better. The DNC needs a colonoscopy. No, they need a colon cleansing, a, co a colonic evacuation is what they need. Yeah, well. And oh, oh, also Sank uh, uh, Iker or Euchre and, and the other dude that does the show with him, uh, the Young Toiks, Turks, <coughs> is uh, also at this rally, this Our Revolution <laughs> rally <coughs> in, in the state of Virginia. <coughs> and uh, it seems like that these people in Oklahoma were right. There are, there are progressives in southern and western states. You don't, you just don't hear about them because the media likes to shove all the right-wing evangelicals at you. They get the face time. Yeah. But there are apparently many good progressives down south and out west. Yeah. Not, not, there, there's not like, um, apparently, maybe because of gerrymandering, uh, maybe because of, uh, of, of rigged voting booths, their, their, their voting power is, it doesn't seem to be nearly as powerful as the right wing, uh, evangelical freaks that's right <laughs> you know uh, but they they exist okay listen let us let me see do I have any products that I want to promote do I, did, 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 did I discover anything worthy of buying uh, aside from my my lodge cast iron skillet that I got at Walmart I don't think I have any new products to promote. Um, I do, but it's in a box. 
Oh, you still in the box. You haven't, you haven't technically used it yet. That's the Copper Chef. That you, as seen on TV, the Copper Chef. Red Copper, yep. Red Copper. Okay. Yep. Um, all right, you know what? If I had anything important to promote or any anything any any company to really bash, uh, well, I I could bash something connected with the government, but uh, I have a friend that is in the process of being supposedly being helped by such a government, so I don't want to bash something that might come back to bite him on the ass. Oh, so boy. I will. Let it go for now, so, because sometimes <coughs> the system works, and sometimes, and it most don't. of the time, it doesn't. Unless you're rich, then you don't need the system. Then you don't need the system. Hey, speaking of not needing the system, there's a petition going around uh, to arrange it for uh, Congress not to get all those uh, freebies from the taxpayers. That they don't need. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on. They don't need any of it. They don't need the it. The whole tax break thing is a matter of redistributing money to the rich from the poor. Right. Come on. And also, as usual, we know that with their 175,000 plus, not counting perks, you know they can pay for their own health insurance mm -hmm. and their own retirement account mm -hmm. and oh Elizabeth Warren is not too thrilled about Barack Obama receiving four hundred thousand dollars to speak publicly four hundred grand Clinton got a hell of a lot more than that Hillary got more Hillary than that and Bill they get more than that absolutely and and the fools pay him too exactly That's for uh, loving up. Love? Yeah. So they, uh, you know, they. Uh, you mean they, uh, uh, pat each other's back? One hand washes and the other, and both hands the wash other. the face. You scrub my back, I'll scrub you. Yeah. Are oh, you talking that. about crony capitalism? That's what that is. Right? Am I right? Crony capitalism. Absolutely. Crony capitalism. Absolutely. Uh. Anyway, I joined this local uh, organization. Uh, actually, it's not local. It's a, it, it's a pretty popular website. It's called meetup.com dot or dot org, something like that. Meetup, M-E-E-T, and uh, you find what you're interested in, and then it shows you people that that like the same things you like, and they and they meet up, and there happens to be a progressive uh, organization representing Bergen County, New Jersey, right here in Hackensack, New Jersey, and I joined it. Uh, it's called Resist something or other. It's, pro it's a progressive movement. What about our time? What the fuck is that? It's a, uh, a meeting place for older people. Not, not elderly. Hey, I don't want to hook up with no old bag. Around your age. Now, I don't want to hook up with old bag. I want to hook up with young chicks. <laughs> well, they show young chicks on TV when they make the ad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I hate okay. that, 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 that tall nasal twang guy from Match.com. And uh, or or e the other guy's a joke. E the, e old, the, old, the old geezer, the puffy face yeah. old geezer. For me, Let harmony. me tell you. If... if Physical chemistry either happens uh -huh. at, on day one, or it's not going to happen at all. If you want a roommate, a buddy, a pal, uh -huh. that's a different story. Then you fill out the forty question, the uh, forty psychological questions of compatibility. Good. If you want a buddy, if you want a carbon copy of yourself as a platonic friend, you know somebody that you don't you don't fuck, Good. you don't have sex with. But as far as um, romantic, uh, a, a romantic significant other, it it either happens or it doesn't. You know, chemistry. So I don't follow. I don't go by scientific matching. I mean, it helps if you have a lot in common. It helps, but uh, you got to see those fireworks. Remember that stupid show, Love American Style, back in the seventies. 
when they show the fireworks going off. Mm. Well, that's basically what happens when you you uh, when you click with the right one. Anyway, let us sink our piranha teeth into these readings. Go to it, buddy. Ivanka Trump. Oh God, has to do with China, right? And her husband, Jared Kushner. Uh are keeping vast real estate holdings including Ivanka Trump's share of the Trump Hotel blocks from the White House where they are both top advisors to the president. The couple could be worth at least 240 million dollars with their holdings potentially. Well the rich do get richer exceeding 740 million according to a financial report released on Friday uh -huh. by the White House. Government employees are only required to report assets in broad ranges. Kushner has divested himself from dozens of businesses or investments and resigned from more than 260 positions. Well, he's a. Uh, this guy's a real go-getter, man. Well, I mean, his family is in is is uh is in real estate. He's a New York City. Uh, yeah. Chi he's a, he's a child of a New York City real estate tycoon. From what I understand, right? The lawyers have determined uh, that these positions could pose a conflict of interest with his work in the administration. Jamie Gorlick. The couple's lawyer, Garlic, told the Associated Press that in consultation with the Office of Government Ethics, <laughs> Government Ethics, I just had a laugh. Attorneys determined right. the real estate would not pose the kind of conflicts that would require selling. Right. Officials said the disclosures will not include. President Donald Trump or Vice President Mike Pence. And they said the forms do not reveal current holdings but offer a snapshot of officials' assets and liabilities before they join the government. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said the disclosures underscored Trump's ability to attract successful executives to his administration. Of course he wants successful executives. Uh, uh, like they have uh, w uh, the people's best interest. Sure. Okay. Here's what we know about the aides whose reports have been released. Steve Bannon. <laughs> the one that looks like Rosie O'Donnell. Who should play him on Saturday Night Live. The report for chief strategist. Steve Bannon reflects his ties to the wealthy Mercer family, which was one of the biggest financial donors to Trump's candidacy. Bannon earned more than a million dollars last year before entering the White House, including 125000 from Cambridge Analytica, Robert Mercer's data analysis firm and 191,000 from Breitbart News where the Mercers are also co-owners. He earned 61,000 in salary from the Government Accountability Institute, a Mercer-funded nonprofit that backed research into Hillary Clinton's finance. Uh. And 167500 from Glittering Steel LLC. Glittering Steel. Sean Spicer. On financial disclosure forms for 2006, the White House Press Secretary reported rental income of between 50000 and 165000 from four... Northern Virginia properties with a combined value of at least $1.1 million. Spicer's main source of income was his job as communications director at the Republican National Committee. 
<laughs> where he earned two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. Trump and Kushner stepped down from a running their re respective businesses to assume unpaid posts at the White House. Yeah, sure. But the disclosure reports show they will continue to earn money from the companies they help build. So that whole the conflict of interest and uh, gone by the wayside, and uh, a, a, a blank trust and all that that other presidents abide by does not apply to His Royal Majesty uh, Donald Trump. Nope. Ivanka has put her fashion licensing brand in a trust controlled by two relatives <laughs> that is valued at more than fifty million dollars. Yeah, well, didn't. Didn't uh, China, which is probably the source of her manufacturing, uh, uh, kind of like swing things in her favor recently? Yes, it did. Reince Priebus, the White House Chief of Staff, earned $1.4 million in 2016. So these are all corporate people that he, he appoints. Sure. Over half of which come, came from the Milwaukee law firm where he is a partner. Despite the fact that he has been on leave since January 2011. Gee, since, since everything in the Trump family that's manufactured is, happens to be coming from mainland China, where, where are all those American jobs going to come from? Remember the steel that's, that he wants to put American steel back in our spines? Remember when he said that and it ended up being Russian steel? $1.8 million. Gary Kahn as Goldman Sachs CEO. Here we go. Oh, can't get worse than that. Right? Is only a small part of his financial picture. Now director of Trump's National Economic Council, Kahn, disclosed $11.2 million in cash bonuses. 23.2 million from the sale of restricted stock and 1.7 million from exercise stock options from the Wall Street firm where he worked for 27 years. Hmm, interesting. Oh, good googledy goo. How come none how come none of this surprises me or you for that matter? <laughs> Yeah. Lies, 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 non-stop lies since his campaign promises. And Lie. more money, yeah. more money to the rich. Right. More tax cuts for the rich, more money to the rich. Welfare, welfare. Free money for the rich. Oh, boy. The manatee. Yes, the sea cow, a very, very cute animal. Is endangered no more. Oh, that's good news. Seriously? So protecting the manatee uh, allowed them to uh, reproduce? Good for the manatee. You know what? I'm going to dedicate this comeback show to the manatee. Yeah. And the man of coffee, too. Hold on. Oh, gee. These are the levity bells, by the way. They're, they're old-fashioned jingle bells, but anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. But salute to the manatee is no longer on the endangered species list. Increases in manatee populations and improvements Man coffee. in their habitats led the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to downgrade protections for the species from endangered to threatened. Well, it's still positive. I mean, it used to be that way for alligators. Alligators, but the, 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 there's, there's too many now. But not everyone is happy. No. The Center 
for biological diversity noted in 2016 oh. was the deadliest year to date for manatees. Then why are they, why are they, um, well, Republicans really do not like any protection of wildlife or the environment. No, so so you think this might be a bogus downgrade? Let's see, read on. I don't know, they like to, they, they like to go out and shoot them. And they also like to dump uh, uh, toxic waste into our waterways. Yeah. Well, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it helps uh, big business make money. Yeah, there you go. Like coal, coal waste that they want to dump into America's rivers. Manatees are still endangered. Oh, I take that back. I take back. Well, I don't take back my salute, but uh, the good news is not 100% valid. With ongoing threats posed by boat strikes. Well, you get a propellers from boats, a, a, a scar their backs up. And habitat, habitat, habitat loss. We don't support reducing product protections, said Jacqueline Lopez. Lopez. Still, the move to downgrade the manatee marks a milestone. About 13,000 of the mammals live throughout the Caribbean and the southeast U.S. South? East. East. Oh, uh, where the, uh, the, uh, the Everglades. Lord. The Everglades. Yes. They're, um, they, uh, well, they could, they, they could live in both fresh water, brackish water, I don't think salt really bothers them. I think they're equal uh, uh, um, opportunity, uh, I mean, um, equal uh, pH uh, level opportunities, opportunity creatures. They can live in both. The species is subdivided equally between the Antillean manatee and the Florida manatee. And there goes, there goes your Antillean. That's a stark contrast to years past when the mammals appeared to be on the brink of extinction. The current population of 6,620 Florida manatees <coughs> excuse me, is a dramatic turnaround from the 1970s. <coughs> <coughs> Something in the air? Something, well, there's definitely <laughs> pollen flying around because uh, I had to take a Zyrtec before I came here. Uh, well, and that's, if you see me rubbing my nose, yeah. it's like a, tickle, a tickling irritation. Anyway, a dramatic turnaround from the 70s when just a few hundred manatees remained. The manatee, also known as the sea cow, was first listed as an endangered species in 1973. Oh, really? Others also criticized the move, calling it a huge disappointment. Why is it a disappointment? They, they want to hurt these animals? U.S. Representative Vern Buchanan, Republican of Florida. Of course he's a Republican. Blasted the Fish and Wildlife Service. Really? The decision to weaken Protections under the Endangered Species Act threatens the survival of the manatee, one of Florida's most beloved animals. They are beloved. They're adorable. They're 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 inoffensive. Maybe propeller scars should go, be on the backs of these Republican politicians. Uh -huh. I have worse fate fate for them in store if it was up to me. They, they just don't like, they just don't like anything else but making money. They really don't put any value in anything else, mm -hmm. these right-wing demons. Anyway, you folks are, that are wondering what this is, this is not a hammer. This is not this a is hammer. This is not Thor's hammer. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 Somebody online thought this was a hammer. This is a Blackthorn a Lucky Irish Shillelagh. What is he doing? Made of Blackthorn wood. It's supposed to keep bad spirits away and the wee people and, le and leprechauns. 
Yeah. I don't know. That's what I read. But no, it's it's a good it's the good luck charm style of shillelagh. There are walking stick shillelaghs. There are fighting stick shillelaghs, which are different. This happens to be the Lucky Charm version, but don't don't uh, underestimate it. It can do a lot of damage as it collides with head. the skulls of right-wing uh, humanoids. Hunters could soon target grizzly bears from the air on Alaska's federal lands. Oh, real macho hunters. You guys are real tough guys, aren't you? Internet providers may get to sell the browsing habits of their customers. Yeah, real even playing field. It's like shooting bears that, that come out of hibernation. That's another uh, um, another way of cheating that, that, that hunters uh, utilize. Uh, move. Go ahead, I'm sorry. States will be able to deny federal family planning money to Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers. Citing states' rights, jobs, and the right to bear arms, congressional Republicans are reversing dozens of Obama-era rules affecting the environment, education, and the energy sector. GOP is using largely unknown but highly effective. Hold on. I'm holding on. I am holding on, sir. But highly effective. This is a biggie. Oh, I can see that. Ah. Uh, legislative tools that allows a simple majority in the House and the Senate to overturn regulations that often took years to craft. Indeed, with an overhaul of health insurance going off the rails, Republicans are casting the effort as overturning eight years of excessive government regulation and boosting business. Of course, uh, any amount of government regulation is excessive to a Republican. All right. Get people back to work, and after years of sluggish growth, oh sure, give a real boost to our economy," said Speaker Paul Ryan. Yeah, people in uh, in China and Bangladesh, uh, uh, it'll get people back to work overseas. The Philippines, where all of our customer service jobs went to, for for a lousy fifty cents to a dollar an hour, it'll get people back to work. Oh yeah. You know, you know what this uh, a corporate ass kissing Philippine gentleman told me. Uh, this motherfucker told me. Well, that's a that's a lot more money than they usually make in the Philippines. Yeah, so, the so they should thing. be grateful for the fifty cents to one dollar an hour. Ronald Reagan used that. You should be thankful for a dollar an hour. That sounds like Barbara Bush. With the Hurricane Katrina people. Oh yeah, this is a step up. Sleep, sleeping on, on the ground of the uh, New Orleans Superdome. They should be thankful. It's a step up for them. Absolutely. Let yes. them eat cake. The President has signed eight resolutions revoking regulations issued during the final months of Democrat Barack Obama's presidency. Oh boy. Six resolutions have cleared Congress and are awaiting the president's signature. A couple dozen more are on deck. With last Thursday, the deadline for filing more. Trump has signed measures eliminating requirements that mining and oil companies report payments made to foreign governments. The rule was designed to shine a light on how much money foreign governments received for their nation's resources. 
thus reducing the prospect of corruption. <laughs> reducing the prospect of corruption. Yeah. Sounds like a fantasy world. Fantasy land uh, in the United States. We also sign another measure reversing an Obama plan to prevent coal mining debris from being dumped into nearby streams. Let it go, let it go. Sure, pollute, pollute America's waterways. Hey, they haven't, they haven't fixed uh, Flint, Michigan yet. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, of course. These are about trickle down. Their life is about giving more money trickle to down. the high end and to the corporate interests. Pistle down is more like it. Maybe it will trickle down. That would be good. Maybe it will trickle down. But if it doesn't, so be it. Well, it's not going to trickle down. Never has before. It's not going to drip down. That's the free market, Pelosi said. Oh, Nancy Pelosi, a Democrat of the state of California, uh, talking like a right-wing Republican. Well, uh, now we know where Nancy Pelosi stands. Probably the same as where, uh, what's her name, uh, Feinstein, what's her first name? Diane. Diane Feinstein of California, another suck-up, sell-out, uh, uh, blue dog, conservative uh, Democrat. Ah, so now we know where Nancy Pelosi stands. Uh, um, I, you know, I never, I never liked her back in the days when she used to keep on saying bipartisanship. Yeah. Every, every other word was bipartisanship, Party. compromising. You know what that means? That means as far as Republicans that mean, are concerned, yeah. That, that means you let the Republicans you lose. You lose. The people lose. Yeah. Yeah. That means that you, uh, the Republicans more or less get their way. That's right. Now do you see why I have these arguments on Facebook with with those that want to save the Democratic Party that are obsessed with with rescuing the Democratic Party? <sighs> Robert Wiseman, President of Public Citizen, a consumer advocacy group Push through. Oh boy! Will actually actually damage our economy. Now you know why I swing the show early a lot. See how aggravated I get. For example, with the political issues of this country, eliminating the stream protection rule may help the companies, but will hurt the companies that would gain through healthier streams and water supplies. If you look across the terrain of the Congressional Review Act resolutions. They are repeals of public measures that help consumers, workers, and the environment. The Republicans driving these measures are paying back their corporate benefactors at the expense of the public. In some cases, the regulatory repeal effort have had nothing to do with the economy, but addressed hot-button social issues that so often dominate Washington politics. Republicans blocked a Social Security Administration rule that would have prevented tens of thousands of mentally disabled beneficiaries from being able to purchase a firearm. Oh, oh, so so psychiatric patients should be allowed to own any kind of firearm they want, even automatic weapons, baby. AK-47s, baby. Bazookas. I wish I had an AK-47. Seeing seeing how this country is going, what direction it's going in. The rule was targeted specifically at those beneficiaries with mental disorders who have a third party manage their financial benefits. Gee, I wonder why Republicans want 
mentally disturb people to have firearms. It's not very logical. Uh, I would say a lot of their people that own firearms are mentally Oh, you mean like Challenge. like all them dar uh, yeah. uh, inbred rednecks that yeah. live out of yonder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that are dirt poor and vote Republican? Yeah, I'd say they're mentally disturbed. Yeah. The latest repeal effort clearing both chambers required oh Republicans to bring a Vice President Mike Pence to the Capitol. Oh, gosh. So he could cast the breaking the tie-breaking vote on the abortion issue. Yeah, they, they, the vice president has the right to break ties. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, but you're talking about an evangelical cultist freak in Mike Pence. That makes no sense. The scrapping of the health and human services rule gave states to go ahead to deny federal family planning money to Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers. One of the more closely contested repeals would kill an online privacy regulation. Fifteen Republicans sided with Democrats in opposing the repeal which Pelosi said would allow internet providers to sell your personal information without your consent. Yeah, well, it gives, it gives uh, corporations the right to uh, infringe on uh, your, your, well, your, your civil rights, basically, right? To do anything they want with your information. To bypass the Constitution uh, if it means them uh, making money. That's right. Right. At, 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 at anyone's expense, except the rich. The ability of Congress to avoid regulations with a simple majority was created oh, in boy. 1996 when Congress passed the Congressional Review Act. In the 20 years since then, Congress was only able to use it once to repeal a regulation. Congress sent five repeal resolutions to Obama. He vetoed each one. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce has encouraged the regulatory ro rollback. Neil Bradley, a senior vice president at the chamber, acknowledged that it's hard to say how many jobs are created or saved through the repeal of one particular rule, but he said employers are all sizes. Tell the chamber that government regulations are a top concern. Yeah, yeah. That makes it harder for them to flirt. Any time we can roll back these regulations, it's another step forward to restoring the economic growth that I think is the top priority of American people. Yeah, don't hold your breath. That is, you're finished with that humongous reading? Yeah. Right. Don't worry, I'll get it. It's uh, um, what was I going to say? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe even less people, less Americans actually voted this past uh, November 2016 than they did uh, November 2014. I haven't heard a, uh, a set of numbers, but the, according to the inaugural pictures, I would say so. Yeah. Because Trump this, keeps saying... This is old? Yeah. This is old? So this. That one too? Yeah. This one too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's been happening for quite a while, actually, that a very, a, a very low percentage of the population in the United States does not vote. And, of course, the, uh, all, the, all the lunatics that vote Republican vote. <laughs> so, therefore, the Republicans get elected. See? 
Yes, they do. I got to thank you. Thank you, America, for allowing the dregs of humanity to take control. And remember, when you drain the swamp, what you have left are bottom feeders. Pond scum. Pond scum. The bottom feeders. <laughs> all, all the nice, clean fish with the scales are out, are out of the swamp. They're gone. Yeah, well, you didn't drain the swamp. He brought the swamp in. Invited the well, swamp in. Well, he brought in. more skooma, more yeah. scum. Skooma, skooma, yeah. S well, skooma. My grandfather used to say skooma, meaning scumbag. Sc scumbag, scum, right? Yeah. Yes. He brought more in, more scum in. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe some more toxic waste. You know, there was, um, back in the 1960s, one of the uh, Toho production, you know, Godzilla, Japanese monster movies. Woo. There was there was one movie called Godzilla versus the Smog Monster, and what the Smog Monster was was a monster that was born from pollution. And in old in those days, pollution was pretty bad. Oh yeah, smog. You know, I mean, uh, take a look at a nineteen uh, uh, late either late sixties or late or early nineteen seventies. It came out. Take a look at a picture of New York or Los Angeles back then, and take a look at it now. You, well, you couldn't even see the buildings back couldn't then. Couldn't see anything, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, your your email inbox uh, issue? Working? I don't know. I'm asking you. I haven't tried. I gave up. I deleted 961. Oh, you don't have a spam folder that that, that automatically? I, 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 no, that's was in the regular box. Oh, jeez. The uh, the inbox. Yeah, I, I, I used to have I used to have that, but I I I, I got so um, fed up with uh, having to go through hundreds, having to weed out the good email. It took me too much time, so I realized that the automatic. Uh, service which puts spam into a spam folder is 99.999% accurate. I've decided that's it. Enough is enough. Delete it all. Let it be. Let it be. If if if, if it's recognized as spam, then I'm not talking about the luncheon meat that comes in out of a can. I'm talking about spam. You know what I mean. Uh, if it's if if it looks like spam, it's probably spam. Well, I deleted all the spam, and I deleted everything in the inbox. Yeah, because his inbox was full. I couldn't email uh, Dr. Bill anything. Yeah. Return to so, sender. That's right. Address unknown. No that's such number. No such phone. Elvis Presley was singing high on a hog. Yeah, I heard uh, Colonel Parker kind of like ripped them off or, or or overbooked him and or something. I don't know. Oh, that was, yeah. Yeah, Colonel Parker. Drove him, drove him to his death. You know. Yeah, yeah. Colonel Par Parker, you know, uh, didn't give Elvis Elvis any ar rest at all. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. no. All right. Wore now, him out. How you doing? Of course, he wore out himself too. You know. But he was a, he was a basically a hell of a drugs. nice guy. I mean, he was not. He was actually very good to people. Yes, he was. Elvis Presley, God rest his soul. He was kind. He was generous. You know, he, you know, he. Well, uh, because of his background. Right, and yeah. and 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 he was probably just uh, worn to a frazzle. That's true. By Colonel Parker, just like uh, like uh, Michael Jackson's father wore wore the boys out to a frazzle. Yeah. Joe Jackson was that his name? Yeah. <laughs> Something like oh, that. Off the Jerk off Jackson. Ah. So what do you think? Last night, I saw uh, DiCaprio, Leonardo, in The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, I never saw that movie. Well, it might be on again. W where'd you see it? I saw it on uh, FX. Okay. Well, now you got you got a hell of a lot more television freedom. Yeah. Well, with the movies, yes. Yeah. Are, are you able, you're able to surf through your cable stations with no problem? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Cool. All right. So how was it? How was it? Man, he was on the lewds and 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 the cocaine. These guys. And push, push, push. Go, go. Show. Make my money, money, oh, money. Profit, man, profit, man. profit. 
Oh man, it was terrible. So yeah, you know, same as the same as Elvis, you know. Yeah. Well, I told I told you my friend, uh, my 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 long time near dear friend uh, uh, Lisa Cohen used to work for Bear Stern, and they were uh, they had there was a little infamy connected with Bear Stern, right? Yeah, one time he he got so uh, he got so uh, loaded and high, he was on. He was on the ground like a, with cerebral palsy. He couldn't move. He could only crawl. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Like that. And then he got in his car and he drove somewhere and he banged the car into here, there, everywhere. It was a terrible movie. But he was making forty-seven, forty-nine million dollars a year. Listen, life. I think life, uh, uh, like 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 yin and yang from from the Orient, from Taoism. I think they. Is about balance. You need your health, number one. You need your health. You need your balance. Yeah. You need your health. Your health is number one. Good family and friends, I'd say number two. And material comforts, luxuries, you know, maybe number three. Well, the guy that taught him how to do his work and everything like that. You said you got to jerk off uh, maybe uh, twice a day. Yeah. What does because that do? Clear your mind? Yeah. It's supposed to jerk off? Yeah. You mean like uh, put up, put some internet porn on and wha wax the old bishop? Whatever. Or, or, or whatever. Well, yeah, if he's yeah. rich, he can he can have escorts come to the office. And they had that. He could <laughs> believe me. <laughs> he could he could lock the door and put the sign out. It says, "Do not disturb." And, I, and I'm serious, do not disturb or else. And they then had anything they wanted. And Believe I bet me. he could write that off uh, on his taxes. Absolutely. The escorts. Yeah. So it was called something entertainment. Yeah, you put And he would write it off on your fans, you know, for meals and yeah. stuff what like did that. It, what did the executives call it? The martini luncheon? Yeah, the two, three martini luncheon. The three luncheon. martini luncheon. With uh, a shaken not stirred with olive. That's a very classy drink. It's still today is a, is probably the classiest drink of all. Is the vodka martini the good the good vodka the good vodka the good vodka good vodka? You know when you shake. I know we're digressing here, but you know when yeah, you well, certainly uh. You know when you shake the martini, the ice cubes in that stainless steel martini yeah. shaker. Shave you, ice. You shave, know, shave. no, no, no. Even cubes. It progressively gets colder and colder and colder in your hand. The movement of the ice cubes jiggling around, rattling around, makes it get colder to the point where your hands are freezing. It's, hey. it's two parts uh, vodka, one part dry vermouth. Vermouth is, is, a, is a wine with, a, with a, a very old history. It used to be used medicinally hey. in Europe. It was invented in Italy. <coughs> And yeah, so it'll be one part dry vermouth, two parts vodka, and ice. And don't forget the olives, the yeah. green olives. Shaken, vodka. not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. Thank you. That was James Bond's uh, request, right? There is an old expression. Shaken, not stirred. Beware the tail that wags the dog. I heard that. For that is not the natural order of things. Mm, sounds like a very deep and wise old saying. The House Freedom Caucus, formerly the Tea Party Caucus, I don't like it, has been the tail wagging the Republican Party in Congress and America for the last 20 years. I'm sure there's a uh, top, top of the top 1% oligarchy that's really the, the puppet master for all of them. They scared the heck out of House Speaker Paul Ryan. Well, Paul Ryan is really a wussy. Yeah, you remember when he uh, debated uh, when he debated uh, Joe Biden? Joe Biden. He was yeah. sweating bullets, drinking water, sipping water every few seconds, and he, and he couldn't. He had no comeback for Joe Biden. Joe Biden destroyed Paul Ryan. Yeah. President Trump and many Republican moderates. 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 Yes. Interesting. Freedom Caucus supporters have been, with some exceptions, 
the likeliest to turn out in Republican primaries and in heated general elections, though their numbers are far less than the rest of registered Republicans. The Freedom Caucus is a group of, of only about 35 to 40 of the House's present 237 Republican members. Without their votes, though, the House Republicans need Democratic votes to reach a majority of 218 to pass a bill. Congressmen in the Freedom Caucus Freedom Caucus. Their freedom. Talk constantly about letting the American people be free from the kinds of federal government intervention they don't like. <laughs> so they're 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 letting the poor they're they're doing you they're doing the poor a big favor by uh, giving you this freedom from government programs that are keeping you alive and healthy. Exactly. It, it, by 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 uh, by feeding you by by throwing you to the wolves. They are giving you freedom. Yes, and independence. Allow the independence to allow you to to prosper and grow, in, as the worms get you in the grave. <laughs> They describe most federal programs as ones making Americans weak and socialist. What, what about when the rich get all that free taxpayers' money? Uh, isn't that weakening? No. Isn't that hindering the wealthy? When when corporations get get wealth, get no. corporate welfare? No. No. Help your local rich person. Well, we all know That's what it's all about. We all know how hypocritical uh, the the wealthy and the, and Republicans really are. That's right. And and blue dog Democrats. That's right. Or which which is an awful lot of them nowadays. However, they insist on federal crop and coal subsidies for their constituents. <laughs> U.S. national trade barriers against their states, yeah. products, and competitors. Subsidies, yeah. Congressional grants for roads and sewers and bridges, and federal government money and supplies in the event of a natural disaster. Most of them would never want to be revealed to their families and constituents that their health care policies will actually hurt Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare. Yet that would have been the effect of their efforts a few years ago to privatize Social Security. And this year to pass the Trump Ryan Care Plan that voucherized Medicare. You mean uh, uh, steal our money and privatize it, which means you basically drop dead. You, you don't but get that care. money goes to Wall Street so that they can invest it in all manner of uh, shit that they did in 2008 that caused the problem. What about that other s scheme they have for raising the retirement age to like 70 years old so you never get to you never get to see your first social security check because Bingo. you'll be dead. Bingo! You'll be dead before you you qualify for social security retirement. But they sure will retire but after, after they put in their two terms in Washington when they get when they get uh, uh, taxpayer funded retirement. There you go. The congressmen and senators they they will see their retirement uh, wealth on the dole. Uh, only 17 percent now you know why I got the shillelagh of American citizens want to get rid of Obamacare. My guess is that number who would want to hurt Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid is even lower. Well many people in red states uh, uh, began to realize that they needed their Affordable Care Act, yes, they and did. they're pretty pissed that they're gonna they're gonna lose it. 
the vast majority of Republicans and Democrats don't want harm to come to these programs. Uh, uh. Yes, our founders wrote about seeking the individual's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. But they also saw the need and created a governmental system encouraged to form a more perfect union. They also mentioned, warned about a rogue government, and they also mentioned keeping religion out of government. And to provide for the common defense and general welfare. Yeah, that's true. In the past 100 years, Congress has enacted social safety net programs because the people of our country need them. Well, they corporations get them. And the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled each of those laws consistent with our Constitution. So now the question is whether Trump and Ryan will set these few Freedom Caucus members free. Yeah. Time for Trump to invite the moderate Republicans and Democrats back to the grown-ups table. That's the way Ronald Reagan saved Social Security. Yeah, 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 yeah. In 1983. The only thing they set free Republicans is Pandora's box. If he follows Reagan's example, Trump just might save Obama. Uh -huh. He could even take the first steps towards Medicare for all. So he's going to... By the way... So he wants to take credit for both? By the way... Yeah, yeah. Mr. Bird... Birdie... Bernie Bird? Bernie Bird... Bernie Sanders... Has put forward a bill... Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Yeah, he, he... Everything Bernie Sanders talked about during his campaign, he's gradually putting forth these bills and I am glad to see uh, his old buddy Elizabeth Warren uh, on board with a lot of the things he uh, is for and also showing up at our revolution live video streaming I'm glad to see uh, that she's coming to her senses you know uh, hey ever since ever since Americans left their their family-owned farms where they, where they were making a living on their own land to go live in the cities to work for the, the demons, the man, yeah. the fat cats. Ever since that happened, there's been nothing but trouble, corruption, and a rig system. Yeah. And I think uh, the Industrial Revolution began in Manchester, England. Gee, thanks a lot, uh, United Kingdom. If he follows Reagan's example, Trump just might save Medicare. I mean Obamacare. He could even take the first steps towards Medicare for All, a program that will bring universal health care to Americans and reduce our health care costs dramatically. And, and assure that every American gets adequate health care. After but all, yes, yes, and and the same should go for, for public universities, public colleges. Our present health care system relies on private insurance companies. Fuck them to provide the coverage. Let them go belly up. And their profit making overhead is fifteen percent. Oh, well, they should they should perish, just like poor people are allowed to perish, and our veterans are allowed to perish. Without a home. Medicare's overhead is only 3% for private companies in offering the kind of supplemental insurance they now sell to today's Medicare recipients. But first, the American people must persuade Trump that he won't be popular again unless he creates a bipartisan effort to yeah. save Obamacare and then realize universal health care for all. Well, 
if you take away if you take away uh, any safety net from the poor middle class that's a good way to uh, have people not re-elect you <laughs> so it should be a good way to have a revolution like Bernie Sanders book our revolution that's exactly what the United States needs you stopping know. Trump and Ryan care Ryan care save 14 million Americans from losing their health insurance next year Ryan care my ass 24 million from losing theirs in the next 10 years it also avoided huge increases in the health care and prescription costs for seniors the poor and the working poor now modern Republicans and Democrats must insist that the President and the Speaker Ryan abandon their Freedom Caucus on this issue and reach out to them to fix Obamacare and enact some form of Medicare for all. And to safeguard uh, the scumbag uh, American hospitals and medical centers and physicians from ripping off Medicare, you know, uh, 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 false claims uh -huh. that they send in yeah. and things like that. Okay, listen, we're going to break for lunch. Is that okay with you viewers out there? Well, I'm going to have to do it. Okay. Then we'll be back for the balance of the show. And you're now going to be uh, joined by um, How to Defeat a Conservative Bible Verses, followed by promo. All right. And then we will be back. Thank you. All right. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news 
fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need newsletters censored. Newsletters censor pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, Get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need newsletters censored. Newsletters censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletters censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, Get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Okay, we're back. Back from lunch. And as you can see, I'm enjoying another Yinling Porter. Yinling, America's oldest brewery. Micro brew to perfection. Alright, got that? Got it. Got it. It's, you can't get a darker cerveza beer than a, a, a porter or a stout. Continue. In his address to a joint session of Congress last week, right. Donald Trump called on this Congress to repeal and replace Obamacare with reform. According to the Hill newspaper, oh the next day, two Republican House Committee Chairman, Greg Walden, Republican of Oregon, and Kevin Brady, Republican of Texas. Oregon? I thought Oregon was a progressive state. How the hell did he get elected? Yeah, as, as so did I. Yeah. Supported by House Speaker Paul Ryan, 
presented the House Republican leadership's draft plan for taking apart the Affordable Care Act, which they've been working on for months. Actually, working for on? Year, for the, years. The Republicans actually working on something? Their reform plan includes eliminating that's how they work on it. The ACA's expansion of Medicaid. Yeah, they, 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 they don't want they don't want the poorest of the poor to have uh, Medicaid. If drop the, that, drop that to the poor. If the House GOP leadership plan passes, millions of poor and working poor American citizens will suffer. And you'll see rioting in the streets eventually. According to the Wall Street Journal, 14 million are receiving health care insurance for the first time as a result of the Obamacare Medicaid expansion. Well, Obamacare allows Medicaid patients to actually see a private doctor because many pri private doctors do not accept Medicaid because they don't pay much. So before poor people had to go to the outpatient clinic of, of a hospital yeah. and apply for charity care there and whatever um, but they couldn't they couldn't see a private doctor at all no no private physician would accept Medicaid mm -hmm. so that is a plus for the poor to be able to go to have an appointment and see a, a doctor in a private office in a timely fashion the GOP plan would accomplish the Republicans' objective by merely giving the states a finite lump sum Medicaid block grant. Yeah, which probably will be inadequate. That's correct. It'll be inadequate. It, it, it's like telling people to go to your local church for help or, and, and, your, and your relatives. Yeah, sure. Inadequate. Whether or not that sum would cover all those health care costs. Yeah, I hope you realize, Americans, that vote Republican, you are pieces of shit. Natural born pieces of shit. I hope, I hope that, that sinks in. You know. Also, the Ryan plan would not obligate states to spend any federal Medicaid money at all on those American citizens now covered by the Obamacare Medicaid expansion. According to a Kaiser Family Foundation study released on February 24, 80% of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, Democrats, Independents, want Congress to keep the Obamacare Medicaid expansion. Well, until, until we have... Uh, uh, single-payer Medicare Medicare for all uh, that's the only uh, thing the poor has that's all they have is the Affordable Care Act so why would the Republican leaders in the house keep pursuing this because they don't care they have theirs and they don't care what you have or have not one theory is they're evil <laughs> <laughs> that, as a matter of their political uh, philosophy, uh, philosophy, yeah. the Republican leadership simply doesn't believe it is the role of America's federal government to provide Medicaid financial assistance. And then if you have a Republican governor in your state, they won't believe it is the role of the state. Therefore, the poor will perish or will have a, 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 another civil war. They object to the socialism of Obamacare. Hey man, socialism works perfectly in Northern Europe. You know, a friend of mine was, uh, he, uh, I told him about the um, starting pay for McDonald's employees in, in Denmark is like $22 an hour or something like that. And the price of a Big Mac is only slightly higher in Denmark. So I was telling him about 
all the wonderful aspects of democratic socialism in Scandinavia, him himself being a struggling uh, middle class individual, you know, struggling to pay his bills, but um, likes Republicans, he comes back and he shows me the high price of gasoline in Denmark. I said, so my answer was, well, electric cars are kind of taken over anyway, <laughs> which is true. Electric cars are mass produced and they are quite su um, sufficient. They, they, look, there, there hasn't been any, any, any bugs or problems with electric cars in decades. Big oil suppressed the production of electric cars. I don't, I'm not even talking about hybrids. And also, uh, there is a, uh, a wind generator, Uno, one wind generator that is out there that could supply all the electricity one household requires. It exists. The whole green energy movement is quite real and uh, but you know it's like they, they don't let go they they don't they they're not wealthy they struggle like hell to make ends meet but I'll be damned they, they, they just they're under a right-wing spell they have to come to the defense of the right wing it doesn't make any sense <coughs> dr. Bill no it does Ignoring or rejecting the socialism of Social Security and Medicare programs that have saved and improved the lives of so many tens of millions of America's seniors and families. The other view is that regardless of the worthy public policy in providing basic health insurance for the poorest of our people, these Republican House leaders want the money for purposes they deem more important. Yeah, like giving free, free subsidies to the corporations and the rich. And the military. The military-industrial complex. For tanks that you'll never use. Well, airplanes that you'll never use. When 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 you talk about military waste, you're talking about a deep hole. Not the not the need for the military spending, but the need to to allow the companies that make the weapons to profit. Whether you, whether you require the weapons or not is not the issue. It, 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 it's it's about you know who fills the pockets yeah. of the po of the uh, politicians? Who is, is who? Who determines is what determines who their boss is? Their puppet master. You know, so they have, after all, pledged that one of their first priorities is to enact new tax cuts that will disproportionately help America's wealthiest. These very few lawmakers still believe in the failed notion of trickle-down economics. The big lie. The big lie called trickle-down economics. The big Reagan lie. Speaker Ryan and his cohorts say <clears throat> their state block grant approach will also save money. Of course it will. It does so by cutting health care insurance. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? For America's poor and working poor. Yeah, I think I think the average the average poor slob that votes Republican does it for one or two reasons. Either they're they're uh, spellbound by their religious cult, you know, of thinking that a fertilized egg is a baby, or or they're just Flat out racist, and 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 they they like the idea that Republicans do not like people of color. Those are the only two reasons the average schmuck that votes Republican uh, votes Republican. Remember, the Ronald Reagan and George W. Bush tax cuts 
have already benefited our most affluent, as well as added billions to our national debt. It shouldn't be a surprise. At a time of the greatest wealth and income disparity between the top 1% and the rest of Americans since the Great Depression, the House Republican plan would be hurtful and damaging attack on our nation's neediest citizens. Yeah. Ryan and his Tea Party cohorts, yeah. the Freedom Caucus, yeah. Yeah. who are pushing this change in Medicaid, represent only 16% of the Republicans in the House and 9% of the entire House of Representatives. Oh, so they're in the process of pushing it. President Trump, who campaigns supporting tax cuts <sighs> that would disproportionately benefit America's most well-off, nevertheless told the conservative news website, The Daily Signal, during the campaign, I'm not going to cut social security, Medicaid. Oh. Or Medicare. Well, if you cut Social Security, it, it means you're stealing money that doesn't belong to you. And uh, trickle down o only works if the jobs stay in the United States. Will the American people allow the Republican controlled House and Senate to pass the Republican House leadership's hurtful? and regressive plan for our country's poorest. Mm -hmm. Would the president sign such a law that would so negatively affect our country's most vulnerable? Will he go back on his word about not cutting Medicaid? We can't wait to find out. Uh. For those who care about the health of our, all of our people, Contact the President and your representatives in Congress and tell them, Hands off our Medicaid! You know what I got when I sent an email to Senator Robert Menendez? Uh -oh. And um, I got an automated reply. Uh -huh. uh, not a personal reply. So I stopped sending emails to my congressman and senator or maybe maybe my congressman uh, um, maybe the congressmen are different maybe they get back to you personally some do Rothman used to Rothman um, when uh, he was what in? about Bill Pascrell never tried Bill but I I will I met Bill Pascrell and had a big conversation with him at Pub 46 in Clifton when he was enjoying uh, a cocktail. Oh. He, uh, my, my friend, my good friend, uh, little Jimmy Pesto, Jimmy Liguori, knows him well. Campaigned for him many times. Okay. He's our representative. He's in our district. Yes. And um, I was telling him about... Uh, at, ta at the time, uh -huh. my, my Colombian wife was with me, and uh, I was telling him about uh, how how uh, very uh, very uh, right wing things are in Colombia. And at, th at that time, George W. Bush was president, and he he was very buddy buddy with their their president. And uh, he says, "Yeah, he says we're we're very aware of what countries are." Uh, pure right wing, which means bye bye middle class, you just have the very poor and the and the very rich. And don't expect any help if you happen to be poor. You know, so uh, you might have time for like two more two yeah, more. Uh, you have to wonder yeah. <laughs> what Chris Christie thinks as he surveys the rubble of his political life now from his Elba-like exile in Trenton. You know, I haven't heard of, uh, from uh, Chris, <coughs> Krispy Kreme, Crisco Christie, a.k.a. Balloon Boy, in a long time now. 
What's but, going on with the uh, with Chubbsy Ebsy? We all know how President Donald Trump rejected Christie. Yes, yes, he dissed him. For a top cabinet post. Not one post in his administration. Not one job offer. And how Christie was dumped from Trump's presidential transition team. Yeah, my buddy Chris, he called him. My buddy, my friend Chris. Chris. After doing very little before the election. Wasn't that the time when Bridgegate sort of came out? Uh, yes, I would say. Yeah, that might have something to do with his reluctance to give him a job. And now the Republican Party turned its back on Christie's scheme to become national chairman. Well, Christie was interviewed recently by CNN. I must watch that video. I did not see it. Ah. And I posted it on the Progressive Discussions Facebook page. And I will try to remember to watch it. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, thanks to stalwart reporting by the record, blocked Christie's attempt to skirt state laws and sign a book deal with while still in office. Yes, it's been a rough stretch for the self-proclaimed straight-talking reformer. <coughs> it's almost laughable that Christie was once considered a top Republican presidential candidate. These uh, days, his political playlist has shrunk to only a few tunes. Notably, his desire to improve drug treatment for addicts. That's true. I, 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 re I remember seeing those advertisements. I, but then again, during the uh, Republican uh, national debates, I did not, I don't think Chris Christie had too much uh, opportunity to speak. It was mostly uh, Donald Trump being colorful and attracting all of the attention of the media. But Christie is not a man to sit back. No sir, last week our governor reached into his playbook and dusted off another campaign to champion for the good citizens of New Jersey. Drum roll please! You know, you know what, would, what would make <coughs> Chubsy Ubsy rise from from the ashes of the fire like a phoenix like a phoenix rising from the ashes you know what would totally turn chris christie's career around if he turned progressive at <coughs> a out of spite out of out of spite against the very republicans that disrespected him and turned their back on chubsy ubsy he should turn progressive and he would come back bigger and chubbier than <laughs> I mean, bigger and better than ever before. Well, our governor wants to make it easier for people to carry concealed handguns. Easier? Oh, gee. So he wants to turn New Jersey into Dodge City or Deadwood. What was that, South, uh, South, Dakota? South Dakota? Deadwood, South Dakota. Or, or the worst, the worst town in the wild wild west i think it was called brioche <clears throat> it was a mining town it might have been out in nevada or something but the people were getting bushwhacked and and there were shootouts like every day it was like it was bad now i realize that many of you are discussing this issue endlessly oh my god how you would love to be able to slip that handy glock <laughs> Beretta or Smith and Wesson into your shoulder holster or purse when you step into the wild world of the Garden State. Oh, gee, did you think of all the ladies that are out and about having a a, a little modern Derringer uh, hidden in in their in their cleavage? Uh, uh, there would be no, that would be that would spell nothing but trouble for New Jersey's nightlife. I guarantee you. Uh, everybody, uh, all these pistol-packing uh, patrons. 
You never know what you might face after they drink too much in the shop right produce aisle. Or what sort of battles await you as you stand in line for that chai latte at the local Starbucks? What do you mean my coupon has expired? Hey, you're going to give me that discount or else I can imagine. Bang, bang. <laughs> and heaven forbid. Yikes. Who knows what awaits us as we pull up to the pump at a turnpike rest stop. Oh, forget it. Turnpike uh, I-95 highway rest stops? Get killed, right? Well, they, well, I mean, gas station attendants have been known to be robbed at gunpoint as well as convenience stores late at night. But, Christy wants us to have options. Liquor stores. So, last week, without warning, <sighs> the governor announced that his office had adopted new regulations that would water down the state's stringent restrictions on ordinary citizens seeking permits to carry concealed handguns for their personal protection. Well, hey man. The criminals, they already get their weapons from the black market. Yes. So they got theirs. But it doesn't sound like Chris Christie is embracing a progressive attitude, uh, even though the Republicans have turned their back on the portly gentleman. Yeah. Um, all right, we got time for one good solid reading. You got any uh, a whimsical change of pace? In a Mexican. No. Not really. All right, go ahead, read that one. In a Mexican cave system so beautiful and hot that it is called both fairyland and hell. I thought caves are supposed to be cool. Yeah. That's what I thought. Scientists have discovered life trapped in crystals that could be 50,000 years old. Hey, they're Native, Native American ruins in South America, I think in Bolivia, I think, that are over 10,000 years old, 10 to 15,000 years old. I was uh, watching the History Channel, as I said yesterday, about ancient, ancient aliens and stuff, and there's this big round mountain in uh, West Virginia, I think it is. Yeah. And way down in the middle of it, are eight giants. Oh, the skeletons. skeletons. I, I saw that. Did you see that? Yeah, giants, literal giants. Uh, uh, also, they found new ruins. Uh, there, it's either Pueblo or Hopi Indian ruins that are very, very, very old. I mean, super old. And But the giants, they... they that's nothing new. They've been finding giant human skeletons. Yeah, the giants and the Nephilim, with the heads. The elongated heads. The elongated heads. Now, some South American Indians, uh, when when a child has a a uh, rather flexible cranium, you know, it's kind of soft. They bind the head to make it elongated, where uh, other um, accounts. Uh, in cultures that don't bind the heads have the elongated skulls and uh, according to that one person individual that used to work for the government he, he admitted that uh, on ancient aliens he admitted that uh, there have been several species of uh, extraterrestrials that have been visiting earth for quite a long time well they say there's a lot of pyramids and maybe an ancient city under Antarctica. And don't forget Antarctica it is not solid ice like the Arctic Ocean. It is a continent with mountain ranges and land. Yes, that is very true. There are things being kept secret in Antarctica. Yeah. Actually the government keeps quite a bit of secrets from we the people. Yes it does. And NASA too. The bizarre and ancient microbes were found dormant 
in caves in Nica, Mexico. Hey, remember those photos of Pluto? So scientists were blown away. Pluto, Pluto, they thought it was like a, like it was a dead rock like the moon, but no. You sure Pluto or Pluto. Mercury? No, it was Not Pluto. Mercury, I mean. It, it was Pluto and two, two of Saturn's moons, Europa yeah. and another one that has a uh, possibility of some form of life. Yeah, because the Cassini aircraft, uh, the craft just went by there in the circles in yeah they had said Pluto has cryogenic uh, uh, volcanoes uh, that are uh, something happens when when things freeze it, it, it believe it or not the energy created when something freezes actually gives off heat ah. believe it or not the molecules the molecule, the molecule activity and you multiply that uh, many times over anyway it, it's a beautiful planet it, it's like a burgundy red and there's like plains. There's no craters, or very few craters on Pluto. It's uh, it's it's like flat plains and and a lot of burgundy red patches, mountain ranges, um, um, mm. um, types of volcano which are broad, with a hole in the middle, but not not tall and and form like a peak, more yeah. broad and, and wider. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, these microbes were able to exist by living on minerals such as iron and manganese. Really? Said Penelope Boston, head of NASA's Astrobiology Institute. It's super life, she said who presented the discovery Friday at the American Association for the Advancement of Science Conference in Boston. It confirmed the find is yet another example of how microbes can survive in extremely punishing conditions on Earth. It's amazing. Sure. Though it was presented at a science conference and was the result of nine years of work, the findings haven't yet been published in a scientific journal and haven't been peer-reviewed. Boston planned more genetic tests for the microbes. She revived both in the lab and on site. The life forms 40 different strains of microbes and some viruses are so weird that their nearest relatives are still 10% different genetically. That makes their closest relatives still pretty far away, about as far away as humans are from mushrooms. I mean, deep the, we have deep ocean, oceanic uh, marine creatures that are living in uh, in such a depth that would would crush a submarine, or would crush any sub, you know, any type of uh, sub oceanic vehicle, and and they're living under thousands of pounds of pressure, and they're that's their natural habitat. The not are an abandoned lead and zinc mine hmm. and they are half a mile deep. Before drilling occurred by a mine company, the caves had been completely cut off from the outside world. Some were as vast as cathedrals, with crystals lining the iron walls. They were also so hot Scientists had to don cheap versions of spacesuits to prevent contamination with outside life and had ice packs all over their bodies. Boston said the team could only work 20 minutes at a time before ducking to a cool room that was around 100 degrees. 
NASA would not allow Boston to share her work for outside review before Friday's announcement. So, scientists couldn't say very much. But, University of South Florida biologist Noreen Noonan, who was not part of the study, but was on a panel when a uh, Boston presented her work, said it made sense. Why are we surprised? Noonan said. As a biologist, I would say life on Earth is extremely tough and versatile. This isn't the oldest extreme life. Several years ago, a decent group of scientists published studies about microbes and may be half a million years old, mm -hmm. still alive. Those who were trapped in ice and salt. You're right? Yeah. Those were trapped in ice and salt, which isn't quite the same as rock or crystal. The age of the Nika microbes was determined by outside experts who looked at where the microbes were located in the crystals and how fast those crystals grow. It's not the only weird life Boston is examining. She's also studying microbes commonly found in caves in the United States, Ukraine, and elsewhere that eat copper sulfite and seem to be close to indestructible. Wow. It's simply another illustration of just how completely tough Earth life is. Well, are there any um, uh, Dear Abby or Amy Dickinson this week uh, that are worth mentioning? All right, okay. No. I just no. want to announce that the first sex robot will be available uh, for $15,000. Uh, I don't know how advanced they are, but I know Japan is very much, very much advanced in terms of robotics uh, to the point of being human-like. Uh, where the, the personality actually develops, inclu including reason and emotion, as you converse with it. Cool. So, whether or not these gorgeous uh, real feel robots are at the, uh, the Star Trek Android level, I highly doubt it. But, they might be close. <coughs> okay, that's it. Thank you for joining us for Progressive Discussions. Uh, have a good week, and God willing, we'll see you again. As you can see, this is a grassroots revolution show. Bye-bye. Yeah. Say so long to everybody. So long to everybody. All right. Uh.